Well, we can go live to the European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen making an announcement about a reshovel to her top team. Let's listen in. ...and strengthened the Commission's key priority, notably the twin green and digital transition. I would like to express my thanks to Mr. McDowell for his application and wish him well in his future endeavours. Thank you. Parliament, the appointment of Mrs. McGuinness to the post of Commissioner. She will be in charge of financial services, financial stability and capital markets union. Executive Vice President Valdis Dombrovskis will assume responsibility for the trade portfolio. And he will remain the Commission's representative on the Eurogroup alongside with Commissioner Gentiloni. Mrs. McGuinness has significant political experience on EU issues, having been an MEP since 2004 and currently holding the post of first Vice President of the European Parliament. This experience is crucial in carrying forward the EU's financial sector policy agenda and ensuring it supports and strengthens the Commission's key priority, notably the twin green and digital transition. I would like to express my thanks to Mr. McDowell for his application and wish him well in his future endeavours. Thank you. European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen speaking there at the Commission. Well, we can go to Brussels to speak to our political editor, Darren McCaffrey, who's there for us now. Darren, morning to you. A big announcement from Ursula von der Leyen. Is it what we were expecting? Yeah, it was indeed uh, really what we're expecting. As you say, there were two candidates proposed by the Irish government, Andrew McDowell, the former vice president of the European Investment Bank, and Mairead McGuinness, uh, long-standing MEP uh, from Ireland, who's been uh, vice president of the parliament for the last couple of years. Uh, Ursula von der Leyen there deciding, though, that in the end that she was going to back uh, Mairead McGuinness. Uh, maybe not a surprise on two fronts. First of all, Mairead McGuinness is a member of the European People's Party, as is Ursula von der Leyen, as was... Uh, the predecessor uh, that uh, Marie McGuinness's post will now take over, that of Ireland's Commissioner uh, Phil Hogan, so keeping it inside the political grouping, uh, not shaking up that very delicate political uh, balance uh, that the Commission President always has to strike between the different political groupings. And second, of course, uh, Marie McGuinness is a, a woman, a, a female Commissioner now, and Ursula von der Leyen uh, has repeatedly said that she wants to see a gender balanced Commission. Uh, this is clearly a step closer uh, to it, almost there, almost at 50-50. Uh, uh, I think it's 14-13 as it now currently stands. It must be said that in recommending Reid McGuinness to take over uh, one of the portfolios, uh, it still has to get formal approval. We suspect there will be no difficulty in doing so from both the European uh, Council, so i.e. member states, and the European Parliament. Now, the other interesting thing is that Ireland has lost a, a coveted and very powerful trade post. And Marie McGuinness will now take over uh, financial services and financial stability as a commissioner. Uh, that trade post is moving to the vice president of the commission, uh, the man who's in charge of the economy, uh, Commissioner uh, uh, Drombroskowski, and he will take over that trade post. Uh, again, it is seen as a pretty big uh, post because the EU is largely, uh, well, is wholly in charge... We've just lost a comms. Darren McCaffrey, our political...